I want to start this, uh, this journey with you into uh, the research of my lab and into climate change by uh, talking about carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide is the main player of the problem of climate change. So what about carbon dioxide? So carbon dioxide is a normal constituent of the atmosphere of the planet. But scientists have noticed that this molecule is increasing in concentration um, currently. The best evidence that I know of uh, that shows how carbon di dioxide is varying uh, in the atmosphere of the Earth comes from an ice core that was dug in Antarctica. Uh, it's called the Vostok ice core. It was uh, drilled in a frozen lake. Of course, it's Antarctica. Scientists extracted a core of ice, and in that ice, there was small little bubble of airs that were trapped. It's possible um, using um, radioactive tracer to date then the ice, to know how old is this ice. And it was, made, it was possible to actually analyze the concentration of the air trapped in the bubble to measure the carbon um, dioxide concentration. So we have a remarkable example of a machine to go back in time and to tell us, you know, how did carbon dioxide and temperature vary through time? So let's now have a look at my screen where I've um, put up a figure for you. So on the figure that you see on the screen, on the right side, you have a sort of a this portrayal of this ice core. Uh, and on the left, we have the data. So uh, first thing to notice, this ice core, uh, allowed to look at the atmosphere of the planet over a time period of 160,000 years. So that's, that's a long time record. And what we can see is that in yellow we have the temperature. So over 160,000 years, the climate of the planet Earth has always been variable. It starts by going up and then down and it fluctuates. On the blue line, here you have uh, atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration. You see that it also peaks up, goes back down, and then goes up again. So what is striking about this figure is the fact that temperature and carbon dioxide, through geological time, they've always varied together. Te carbon dioxide was high when temperature was high, and vice versa. Now, we don't know what's the cause or the effect, but what we know is that currently, over the last 100 years, human activity is contributing a lot of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We see this in the right-hand side of the graph with this large overshoot um, of carbon dioxide. And therefore, we expect temperature to go up together with carbon dioxide. So we've seen evidence that I think is very convincing that carbon dioxide and temperature have changed historically together. The question is why is that? And we'll answer it next week.